Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. And in this episode, we're going to be knocking out a whole lot of support conversations off screen. I did a little bit of free battling, and now a majority of our party members have some support conversations that they can do. Except for Mozu, because she's only interested in talking to boys. Because I don't know who's thinking duh. Anyways, Mozu also leveled up a whole lot. I plan to use her a bit later on, but right now she's probably going to stay in the back till she gets to her first promotion, but for the time being, let's start with eh, Felicia sounds like a good idea and Corin. Why the heck not in? <laughs> Why does this sort of thing always happen to me? I've ruined another meal. I thought I followed the recipe perfectly this time. <laughs> hey Felicia, what's the matter? Oh no, did you start another fire? That's the third time this month. <laughs> Lord Corrin, no, not this time. This time I've ruined another meal. <laughs> Felicia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please cheer up. You're plenty helpful to everyone, I promise. Aw, I'm sorry, but I don't believe that at all. Well, what about that last battle? When you got the enemy's attention by screaming? And then, you not only got them to come after you, but you took them all out too. I've never seen such a bold strategy, and such bravery. Mm. Felicia, what's wrong? Why are you curling up on the floor again? <laughs> you really don't understand, do you? That wasn't a strategy, Corin. I was trying to run away from them, and then I got surrounded. <laughs> I had to fight my way out or die! I wasn't even being brave, I was just terrified. Oh my god, I love Felicia, dude. Oh, really? Could've fooled me. I don't want to be a good warrior anyway. We have plenty of soldiers already. I just want to be a good maid. <laughs> I want to be able to mend clothes, make food, wash dishes, and the like. Have you seen the camp lately? We need that more than anything. <laughs> we need that more than we need extra muscle. Yeah, I guess so. Suppose you don't have to join us on the battlefield. But then I'd be completely worthless. No, don't say that. You could, uh, you could help with, um, oh, look, a faceless. Uh, gotta go. Mm hmm. I'm gonna back to my corner. <laughs> Poor Felicia, man. She just wants to be helpful, but now we have reached rank C, or level C, with Corin and Felicia. So when these units are paired together, they will have an increase to their stats. This is why we want to do these support conversations. They help literally everything. There is no reason not to do them. And also, as you saw, they're kind of stinking funny. Let's move on next to, hmm. Let's use Setsuna and Azama, dude. I love Azama and... Oh, Setsuna. Say, are you coming back home from a trip to the market? Yeah, how'd you know? I just had a feeling. Did everything end up going okay? You got the proper portions for each of the ingredients, right? Of course, I got everything I need. Lady Hunoka wrote out a detailed list. The store clerk was also kind enough to pick each item out for me. Ooh, that's a relief. Well, I have to say that I'm almost proud of you, Setsuna. You managed to run an errand without anything terrible happening. Dang, brutal and nicely done. It's kind of a backhanded comment and... Thank you. I see that your ability to comprehend sarcasm has an impro... <laughs> God dang. What are you getting up to tonight? Oh, well, I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm so excited about it. Ah, I see. Wait, what? When their right mind would let you near an open flame, let alone a kitchen. We're all doomed. <laughs> what do you mean? I love to cook. Think of all the havoc you cooking has caused in the past. Whoever picks you to make food must have some sort of crazy death wish. This is going to be a culinary catastrophe. Oh, you think so? I'm glad you're excited. Setsuna, you can be really thick as a brick sometimes, you know that? Thank you for saying so. <laughs> My god, this girl does not get it. Uh, never mind. I think I'll go and let Lady Hinoka know you made it back safely. Jeez. Azama's got a, uh... He's got a funny way of uh, making compliments. He's kind of a... Uh, what's the best word to describe it? I guess really, really sarcastic. I can relate, but let's do uh, Kaze and Rinka. I'm not doing these in any order. I don't know if I should be doing them in an order for sake of convenience. I just did those two back to back because it seemed kind of funny they both related to food. But yeah, Kaze and Rinka. How's it going in Rinka? Do you have a moment? Sure. What do you need? 
Well, you see, earlier today I helped a nice young woman carrying her things home. In return, she gave me this sack of sweets. The entire bag is full of just... sweets? Must weigh 50 pounds! Yes, which is why I was hoping you could help. I can't eat all of these by myself. Oh, I see. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. Really? But I thought you'd appreciate it the most. What do you mean by that? Your stomach has been growling all day. You think I hadn't noticed? So what? That doesn't mean I'm hungry. I think that's exactly what it means, Rumble. Hmm. <laughs> that wasn't what you think. It must have been a mouse that ran by. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I will just leave some of these sweets here for that poor little mouse. <laughs> Fine. Do what you want. I will. I hope the mouse enjoys its treat very much. I hear it is quite the sweet tooth. The mouse would have you know. It doesn't have a stinking sweet tooth. <sighs> and the mouse wants to make it clear that this is a one-time occurrence. Does the ninja understand? Of course. Well, I should be off now. I'll talk to you later, Rinka. <laughs> she just starts digging in the second he leaves. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that relationship. It's got a... I see where it could go, but uh... Holy crud, Kaze the ladies, man! Let's do Kaze and Korn, because I actually really want to do that since he's our main support and... Hmm... Is something wrong, Kaze? And uh... What's with all those radishes? Uh, Lord Korn. Greetings. A young woman gave me these radishes as thanks for helping her find her way. Looks like we're having a radish feast tonight. It's pretty great, right? I must disagree. It is not great. No, what's the matter? Do you have something against radishes? It feels wrong being rewarded for such a simple kindness as giving directions. This is not the first time something like this has happened, either. It's not. I can't figure out why, but... I find I'm often approached by women who wish to speak with me or give me things. Oh, uh, is that so? It gets worse. If I speak even a few words, they often start shrieking and hugging me. Sometimes they give me letters or garments or clothing or... Like today, food! None of our allies act that way, of course. Just strangers. It's frustrating. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're just popular with the ladies. Popular with the ladies? Exactly. Those women are just, well, they're curious about you. It's because you're kind yet mysterious. Being a ninja doesn't hurt either. <laughs> in fact, when I was in town the other day, I heard one of the local girls. She said, That sorrowful look on Kaze's gorgeous face is way too dreamy. Uh, uh, I wish you hadn't told me that. I appreciate the praise, but I prefer to focus on my duties and keep such silly distractions to a minimum. <laughs> You're serious all the time. Most men dream of that kind of attention. I know I do. Anywho. I'm simply behaving as any self-respecting ninja should. That's all there is to it. In any case, they are mistaken. I'm not a good man. Uh, why would you say that? It's nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an urgent matter to attend to. can just like that. Ninja are so cool. Well, Corrin, we could promote you. Eh. <laughs> it's for later, though. And, but I wonder what he meant by that. Why does he think he's not a good guy? Hmm... Seems there's a lot of Kaze we don't understand as of yet, and let's see. I kinda wanna do Hana too, and no, I'm not I'm not focusing on Hana, guys, because it's voiced by Karen Strasman. I'm just saying she's really useful. But yeah, let's do Kaze and Hana. Why the heck not? She's uh, apparently huffing. Okay, and Miss Hana, why are you carrying so many vegetables? What is up with food in this game? And oh, Kaze! I was hoping to pick them. <clears throat> Out in the field, and now I'm carrying him back. You got enough to last for weeks. Here, let me help you. No, 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 I can do it myself. That's a ton to carry. Why do you want to do it alone? I figured it would help it get stronger. Don't you think carrying this much will build muscle? I think I'll just exhaust you. You've already drenched in sweat. Let me help you. Otherwise, I would not certain you'll make it all the way back. No, I'll be fine. And, eh. This doesn't look like it'll be fine at all. Here, I'm gonna take a bit. No more than half. Okay. That was a good idea. Hey, wait a minute. You said half, but that's way more. <laughs> I think you're imagining things. No, I'm not. He hey, what, what are you doing? Give those back to me! You'll have to catch up to me if you want them back. Come now. Let's be on our way. 
It's not fair. You know I can't catch up with you. You're too fast. <laughs> All right then. Let's make a deal. I'll come along to help you in your training. And you'll stop doing exercises like this. Uh, you mean I can't make this part of my training? I don't think so. If you're going to train, you should do it correctly. Trying to kill two birds with one stone can backfire on you. Alright, you got a deal. Excellent. Let's head back with all these vegetables then. Okay. Man, Ka dude, Kaze is the... He is without a doubt. He's just the guy. Is there anything... He can't do. Like, he's just charming, he's fast, he's a good support, he's stinking strong. God dang, Kaze. He's awesome. That's why I picked him as my main support. <laughs> Anyways, we see enough of Kaze. Let's check out the other ninja, though. Saizo and... I failed. Might have made it out of the enemy territory. But they'll find me soon with these injuries. And I'm too badly hurt to drag myself the west of the way to camp. I almost made it. This is as far as I go. Saizo? I can't see in the darkness. If you're an enemy, come to finish me off. Do it quickly. Uh, uh, no, it's me. It's Sakura. Don't kill me, please. Lady Sakura. How? Oh, no. You're hurt. Wait just one moment and I'll heal you. There's no time. My pursuers may catch up to me at any moment. Go. Quickly. You must get back to camp. I can't just leave you here to die! This is the only take a second. If you please just sit still! If anything happens to you, how will I ever look Lord Ryoma in the eye again? <laughs> Lady Sakura? Sorry. It occurred to me. It won't matter if you can look him in the eye when you're dead. I, I guess I'm a little punchy. Oh my god, Sakura, that's terrible! No comment. Please stop squirming. We need to get you back to camp together. Fair enough. Well, that was uh, an interesting thing. <laughs> Sakura kind of has a mean side, I guess. It won't matter if you're dead if you look my brother in the eye. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, I guess that wasn't really the attention, just kind of how I read it. And let's see, who do we have left? Uh, we, oh, we definitely need new Tsubaki and Hinoka. That'd be a great idea. And greetings, Lady Hinoka. Tsubaki, how are you today? I'm doing perfectly well, as always. I'm glad to hear it. It's been quite some time since we last spoke. We used to talk regularly back when I was in training as a Pegasus Knight. Of course, I remember. I suppose it would be more accurate to say that you were mostly just teaching me. Oh, I didn't teach you that much. I simply showed you the simplest way to bond with a Pegasus. Back then, I had a well of hate for every aspect of Nor. I believed the Pegasi could feel that anger burning within me. But you showed me how to let go, to calm my burdened spirit. <laughs> Is that right? I feel like you may be giving me more credit than I deserve. No, it's true. You told me that it wasn't about trying to control the Pegasus. It was about bonding with the creature. That totally altered my perspective. You also helped open my eyes to the intricate beauty of nature. The rustle of leaves and sounds of chirping birds make me think of you. Even still. Is that right? Gods. <laughs> Feels like so long ago now. Hmm. I recall those days fondly. As do I, Lady Hinoka. Ooh, something is love in the... Okay, not really. <laughs> so I have uh, different plans for these two Pegasus Knights, but it seems Tsubaki and Hinoka go a little ways back. Huh, interesting. My boy Silas, though. Hello, Silas. Do you have some time? Mm, oh, hey there, Corrin. Need something? Sort of. You mentioned that we were childhood friends, but I'm trying to figure out... How did you remember that when I didn't? Oh, is that all? <laughs> I don't want to worry about it. Those old memories slip away for everyone. But it's strange that I'd forget someone so close to me. Being in Castle Knight just so our paths would cross again. While I, on the other hand, forgot you existed at all. Really, though, I wish you wouldn't worry about it. You remember now, and that's all that matters to me. My hard work paid off, didn't it? I became a Castle Knight, and here we are. I'm grateful for the chance to make up for lost time. Grateful, huh? That's a good way of looking at it. Thanks, Silas. There's the cheer I remember. Oh, hey. Why don't we go take a little trip together sometime? Hmm. Sounds fun. But where should we go? Some place you always wanted to see. When you were young, you had a long list of places you wished to go. We could go to any of them at any time. And nothing's stopping us now. It sounds nice, but 
I don't think we should go far, given the circumstances. Hmm, you're right. Don't worry, I'll find a way to make it work. Do you have something up your sleeve? <laughs> Sorry, I made my plans seem grander than they are. If we can't go far, we'll limit our options to places within reach. You may not remember all the places on your list, but I do. Great. Thanks for doing this, Silas. Hey, what are friends for? I get back for the trip. I will! Silas is a really good guy. So how did I forget all about him? He told me not to worry about it, but there's got to be a reason. Hmm. Now that I think about it, now I'm, I want to not be suspicious of Silas, but yeah, why? How could we forget him ever? If he was this important to our character, that doesn't make any sense to me. And, Ooh, Felicia and Kaze seems like a good uh, thing too. And yet again, the same music. It's so lovely out. I bet the laundry will dry in no time. Let's see. I just have to hang these sheets up and I'll be finished. Where did the wind come from? No, please wait, Mr. Sheet. Oh, oh. Felicia, are you the owner of this sheet? Kaze, you caught it for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> No need for thanks. I'm just glad I could be of service. Of course. You really helped me out there. Thanks to you, I might even finish all the chores today without a single mistake. Is that rare? Maybe. Uh, I should have said anything, but yeah, it is. I'm not very good maid. I try not to be a burden, but I make a lot of mistakes. I see. Hmm. Well, if that's the case... Allow me to assist you, now and then. Oh, that's alright. I couldn't possibly impose on you like that. I see way too much of myself in Felicia. Now, now, we're allies. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't lend a hand? Well, you put it that way, okay. I'd love to have your help. <laughs> Perfect. Let's hang up this laundry, then. Uh, I already finished that, actually. Have you indeed. Well, if you find anything else I can help you with, please come get me. You know where I'll be. Wow! You just vanished! I wish I could do that. Well, we could... <laughs> but I don't know where I'll be! I guess I'll just work alone today. Aw, they kind of had a sad ending. It's like, I'll help you anytime. But not right now. <laughs> it just vanishes. <laughs> Alright, so far we're putting a decent dent in all these support conversations. We only have a couple more, but... One I really want to prioritize is Hayato, who I also leveled up a dump ton in between episodes because... Yeah, I really, really like the Diviner class a whole heck of a lot. I plan to use it a lot more, but let's see the two Diviners converse. Ooh, and why, here you are, Hayato. Have you been looking for me? What can I do for you, Rochi? You and I share an interest. Magic. I like to share herbs. Oh, is that all? What could be more important? Let's pool our resources. Imagine the potion we could make. It boggles the mind. Sure, I'm open to the idea. I think you're getting the better end of the deal, though. I've got quite a large collection of herbs. You'll be impressed. The size of mine isn't that large. I bet I have rarer herbs. <laughs> Why must people always try to one-up each other? Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no way, I, I've got to be honest. You're, you're the boasting one. <laughs> About the size of my collection, I was merely being factual. How about we see which of us is carrying the rarest herb? I'll win this battle. Behold, leaves of an herb that flowers only in meadow at midnight, and only meadows of the Norian border, nowhere else. Oh, sheesh, you're right. That's hard to get, being on the border. But I have something rarer. Yeah! See, an herb that grows on cliffs in Wind Tribe territory. If you dare gather this herb, if you survive the climb. Oh, no. Oh yes, besides, your herb is only using basic healing powder. Mine heals and soothes some of the most ordinary fevers. Then, I suppose you win this battle, Hayato. Ha! <laughs> Victory! But, are you the better herbalist? Care for another battle? Yeah, and I'll win next time too! It's been fun, Orochi. Aw, see I like that one. It's kind of, it's like they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but with herbs. I dig it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Might be over exaggerating a little bit there, but I don't know, that one wasn't terrible. Let's uh move on to Rinka though. Why the heck not in Rinka? Over here. Uh do you need something done? Sort of. I'd like to ask your opinion on something. Take a look at this map. 
If we are positioned here and the enemy attacks from here, what should we do? Docs. If a unit detached and came at them from the river, do you think they'd cluster? If so, we could hit them with a volley, but if we fail, the attacking force might rout. Dots. Rinka, are you listening to me? You know as well as I that I'm not a tactician. Why are you here? Hoping to make friends? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm just here to carry out orders. Nothing more. Farewell. Hey, wait, I'm not done talking yet! I have nothing to discuss with you. Leave me alone. You know I can't do that. We're allies. I have to be able to communicate with you. That's not what I meant. I will still listen and follow any order you want to give. But otherwise, don't speak to me. What is wrong with you? <sighs> My apologies. Perhaps I went too far. That is no way to talk to one superior. I'm grateful you spared my life when I was your prisoner. And I will follow you wherever you decide to lead us. However, I neither need nor desire your attention. Please leave me alone. Hmm. Dang. Everyone else's support conversations are either funny or, you know, interesting. Rinka just thinking hates Kor and Gat- or Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's just playing hard to get. Ooh, we'll find out. <laughs> God stop shipping, God damn it. <laughs> All right, who's left? We got some Kaze, we got some Saizo. Oh, we have not seen Azura yet. Let's do that in Korin. That sounds like a great idea. And Hello, Korin. What brings you here? Uh, I decided to take a little stroll. This breeze feels so heavenly. Hmm, yes. All that sunshine filtering through the leaves reminds me of Hoshido. <laughs> I envy you. And nor we didn't have days filled with sunshine. Oh, Korn. That was stupid of me. Huh? That was thoughtless of me. I never should have brought that up. I shouldn't have been you and Hoshido all those years. Basking in the sunlight. There's no need to feel bad. It's not like you kidnapped me and took me to Nor. I know, but I still feel guilty. I live with the royal family and received all the love that should have been yours. Please, Azura. Don't worry. My life hasn't been as hard as you think. But I lived in Nor. I know what it was like there. It's a cruel place to grow up. That's true. Nor can be a harsh place, but I have happy memories there too. Really? Of course. I was just remembering this one time. Oh no, I'm late for a meeting. Uh, sorry. We'll have to continue this later. Yes. I'd like that. Aw. That wasn't bad either. You know, they're sharing their memories, and Azura feels terrible about the fact that, you know, they kind of had that royalty swap thing going on. That sucks, but you know what? You can't live in the past, Azura. What happened, happened. That's all I gotta say. And speaking of which, Kaze, what's up, boy? And my lady, are you talking to me? To what do I owe this honor? Goodness, you make it sound like I've never spoken to you before. Well, every time we've talked, I've been the one who initiated the conversation. Is that so? Yes. In fact, all of our conversations have been limited to me delivering messages, but I never took it personally. I know you prefer to avoid people if you can help it. You know how to put it quite plainly, don't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so blunt, my lady. How rude of me. That's all right. You spoke the truth. I need to ask you a favor. Uh, consider it done. I'll grant anything my lady requests. But I haven't even told you what it is. It is my duty to obey without hesitation. Please, tell me how I may be of service. Why don't you follow me? I'll explain on the way. Oh, what? No, I wanted that one to go on further, man! Kaze apparently isn't the uh, perfect man since he's apparently blunt. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, but... Oh, are we really running out that quickly? God dang, Mozu, I want to do a support conversation with you, but I didn't... I didn't know. Literally, look at this. This is the only people she can marry. That's all they care. That's all they care about. Mozu's just... She doesn't... She doesn't want to talk to girls. What's wrong with that? She, you don't want a gal pal? Mozu got... Uh, anyways. Let's <laughs> stop harassing Mozu and get on to Hana and Saizo. My stomach's so hungry! Skipping breakfast and lunch to focus on my training wasn't the best idea. I know. I asked someone to share their food with me. There. I'll ask him. Hey, Saizo! Yes. I'm so hungry. Do you have something that share with me? If you're hungry, go down to the mess hall. But that's really, really far. I don't think I can make it all the way there. I'm certain that you can. You don't know for sure. I could die. That approach may get sympathy from some people, but not from me. 
Well, I want to work with other peoples, but not you! <laughs> other people are kinder, more compassionate than I am. Saizo, what are you talking about? Do you think there's some kind of ranking for how helpful people can be? We're all on the same team, so we can help each other out. It's simple. Mm. Whatever. This is all I have on me. Oh, great. You do have something. Let's see. Is it a steamed bun? Correct. I was carrying these with me. I mean, I taste good, but that'll fill you up. Mm, let's try it. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, it's good. Really good. Really? Shouldn't taste that good. I hit the spot. Thanks so much, Saizo. You really helped. You're welcome. Aw, that was kind of... I wonder if Saizo made the meat bunny. He's just really critical on his own cooking, huh? Well, this was really fun, actually. I don't know if this is what you guys want to see or not, because the reception was kind of mixed, but this was a lot of fun to do. And you know what? Let's take a stroll around our castle to end things off. Hey, Sub I thought that was Subaki. Never mind. What do you got for me? Gunter's potion. Gunter! I actually want to see what that does. We've not seen Gunter in... How did this even get here? Poor Gunter, man. I just remember. God dang, dude. Now I'm sad because Gunter was sick. Hey, Mosey, what's up? Seems like a good day for a long nap under a tree somewhere. In the middle of the night. I don't know if that's considered napping, Mosey. It was kind of sleeping. And, huh, we could invite someone. Well, let's invite someone to private quarters at the end of this episode. And I'm always ready. what's going on here? I plan on dominating the next battle. Join me if you want to win. I knew you'd say that. And I approve. Now you'll see what I can do. Oh, that'll improve their relationship. Nice, not bad. So that's another thing you really want to do. I have a tendency not to necessarily do this because I just grind the support levels like anyways to where it doesn't really matter. But if you see two units conversing, there is a chance that they may increase the support level between those two units. So you might want to give that a shot. And this looks like something I could use. Peaches. I imagine Silas just like puts two peaches on his shoulders and it's like, ah, I'm ready for battle. <laughs> oh, man, we haven't seen Lilith in forever. I want to draw out the my, my castle thing, but here's the problem. I would get my butt kicked so fast because we're literally just starting the game well, out. And um, Hey, um, mind telling me how you like to spend your free time? I'm always hard work on my charms. That's it. That's all you get from them. All right. Uh, interesting discussion. Uh, I was going to say girls, but I forgot Hayato's a boy. Anyways, oh. Satsuna, how's it going? How's the harvest? All right, we got two rice. Not bad. Soaking my feet in water calms my nerves. By the way, I found this if you want it. Nice. So we're hacking up a lot of materials. Like our, the first one, well, not a lot of materials. We literally just had one lapis before we did that. These are used to buy stuff in the various shops that we can create, like accessories and hats. And if you know me, I like hats. So we're going to be doing that crap. Also, you can exchange fish and stuff for that too. But, well, there isn't too much to do since we can't really build any more buildings. It is true we have six dragon vein points and we could make some more. But I'm still kind of testing out what I want to do and how I want to design my castle. So, mm, might not do that right now. Where on earth is my... Where did I put my rod shop? It, it's gone. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I removed that. Now I remember. I'll get that back later. But now let's invite someone to our private quarters. This is another way to build up support conversations with people in home sweet home. Let's actually check out our house. So there was a feature like this in Awakening 2, but it wasn't really as well fleshed out. I really do like how they made my castle a bit better basically you had a base and people could come in there and you could see the conversations between those two characters and build up the support conversation with them but nine times ten ten personally i forgot about it but it's really hard to forget about your own house so i think this works out better and let's see we invite saizo mozu and kaze to get some bonus uh support levels that's pretty obvious who i'm gonna pick is it <laughs> You could have figured it out now. I'm kind of a fanboy. What's up, Kaze? Would you mind if I hide out here a while, my lord? I'm being followed. Well, what the... Sure, I guess. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do to aid you in your quest for peace. Um, Kaze, why are you blush? Okay. I assume they just left that in because, you know, female corn and all that stuff. But all right, uh, that was interesting. I'll definitely let hit you up anytime I need some help, Kaze. 
and maybe then after you can help out Felicia with the laundry, <laughs> but yeah, soon we should be getting our rank B with Kaze. As I said before, I highly recommend you get a rank support with him as soon as possible. I'm going to be saying this a lot through the Let's Play, but make sure you do that. But I don't know, guys. This was a lot of fun. I think we understand our army a little bit better now and realize that Felicia really sucks at cooking and Setsuna and a lot of people actually. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode where we head back into the battlefield and start the next chapter. So see you guys then. Bye.